Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Uh, my name's Jay. So I'm going to be starting with the Wraith Blade, which is um, the first model I did this effect on. Um, so it's the Galaxy effect. I've had a few people request and asking me how I go about doing that. So in this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So uh, I've actually already done the base coat here of Abaddon Black, um, just because uh, as I'm sure you've seen, in many, many videos on Warhammer TV that uh, there is uh, quite a difference between the Chaos Black undercoat and a Baden Black finish. So that's all done. Um, didn't really think it was necessary for you guys to see it. Um, okay, so now the first color I'm gonna be starting with is Stegodon Scale Green. Um, keep in mind you can do this with uh, any colors you want. Um, I have trialed it with a few different ones and it seems to work um, more or less the same way. So um, let's get started. So I've actually already got my Stegodon Scale Green mix ready. So just gonna get a little bit on there. Um, also, I'm using a, uh, it's a brand called the Army Painter. So I'll just show you that. Uh, Kalinsky Masterclass. So it's, uh, it's a really good brush. It's affordable. Um, and uh, I just, I really like it out of the brushes that I've tried, so. Okay, so just um, being pretty careful there. Just wanna start applying it um, pretty liberally, I suppose, um, considering it is the base coat, you don't have to be overly concerned with the application. Um, Uh, I'm not really used to uh, talking, by the way, whilst I paint, so please forgive me if I go silent um, all of a sudden. And also, still trying to get used to... Um, uh, painting here whilst... Um, Whoop, there we go, I've just gone silent again. <laughs> Don't worry guys, I promise I'll get better at this in time. I just lost my train of thought completely. I tend to get pretty mesmerized when I'm um, when I'm painting miniatures, so. So as you can see, um, just working a little bit up from there, but just leaving that kind of streaky kind of effect. Um, you'll also come to discover, I'm not very good at explaining things, so please bear with me on that. Um, also just trying to get a good angle here. Uh, Need to get better lighting, I reckon. All right, so just keep doing that. Just really take your time, by the way. I mean, as I often say with painting Warhammer, um, you get out what you put in. Uh, it's really with any hobby, really. Um, and uh, yeah, just enjoy it. And uh, I should mention as well, um, you can see that the paint is quite watered down. Uh, I like to water uh, my paints down quite a bit, just uh, it leaves me a bit more room to work with. Um, just in case there's any errors, because um, they're gonna happen, we're in the human. So um, don't stress too much if you make an error, but if you do, if your paint's watered down, um, you'll find that um, fixing it up is pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay, so now um, just gonna work the back here as well. So just like that. Do, do, do. Okay. Um. Now, one of your biggest friends when, oh, sorry, whilst painting um, is how you angle the brush because as you can see here, it's just giving me that little bit more control. Ooh, that focus was terrible. Okay. But um, but yeah, um, okay. Now let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to get better lighting. Sorry, guys. This that's uh, it's pretty uh, pretty average there. So I'm gonna have to try zooming that in a little bit there. Uh, it seems to be a bit better. Okay. Now, I wanted to bring this up a little bit more, so I'm just going to do that quickly. Um, you can do some 
um, parts of this effect. So, so just there, for example, that straight goes a little bit further and then I could leave that next bit and then go here. like that and then on that side as well um, could do maybe no, I do want to do it there actually it's just a little bit oh, there's something stuck there let's get rid of that probably a bit of dust or something hey I think I finally found a good position so sorry for the first four minutes or so of this video being um, Kind of zooming in and out there um but i mean for this step it's it's not overly um important as opposed to the ones that follow so that's okay so we'll just keep doing some of that maybe a little bit more and um yeah so that's the basis of the um, base coat there um i do want to just tidy up that bit there i'm not happy with that Okay, so that's sorted. Um, okay, now I just want to just do a little edge highlighting here because we'll get to this later. Um, so let's get that into focus again. Um, and um, again, yeah, you don't, I mean, you really don't have to stress too much if, if that line isn't overly straight because uh, once we get to the end of the effect uh, as you can see that's not really perfect um, and it doesn't it really doesn't have to be so don't don't stress too much about that um, let's just get the other side done and move on to Sotec green um, honestly one of my favorite colors in the GW range of colors it's just it's a stunning color um, in fact, oh, I, I just love, um, I love sea green, I love teal, I love turquoise, they're, they're just, they're just, it's just a beautiful colour, I can't stress enough how much I love those colours. Um, okay, so, moving on to Sotec Green, um, by the way, please, uh, yeah, forgive my nails for being kind of shit, I have a bad habit of biting them, um, so I don't want to see in the comments, oh my god, that dude's nails, did you see him, oh, shocking. It's like, yeah, I, I get it. I, I know. I'm doing everything I can to um, uh, stop that habit. I've been doing it since I was about, I don't know, maybe seven. As far back as I can remember, really. So, um, anyway. Um, just trying to, okay. I'm going to stick with this brush for this. Now, basically with each um, progressive highlight, you just want to work back a little bit leaving um, some of that in the background there. So I'm just gonna get a bit more Sotec green there on my brush. And I am gonna just feather some of that on. Da, da, da. Um, okay, and, and with I should mention as well, with each progressive highlight, you do wanna have less on your brush um, because you don't want it to um, pull up too much because as I said, it is quite watered down. It's not overly watered down to the point where it, it mostly is water um, because that's never really gonna, um, you know, unless you're shading of course or something like that, it's, it's, it's not really gonna cut it. But you do wanna water it down um, to the point where if, if need, need be, you can do two uh, coats, but you won't, for this particular effect, um, you won't need to do that, um, and I'll show you why once we get, um, well, you'll start to see why once we get through the video. Um, okay, so just a little bit more there. This is actually really fun. I knew it would be. Really excited, and uh, I just wanted to say as well, just whilst I'm um, on a bit of a rant here, as again, you'll soon discover, guys, that I do a lot of that. Um, I, I do talk a lot, so hey, I guess I'm pretty well suited for, for um, YouTube. Um, um, <laughs> but anyway, um, ah, there we go again, I lost my train of thought. So yeah, you'll see a lot of that too. Um, that, that's, that's definitely a thing for me. Um, okay, so uh, I feel as though I have gone a little bit too far up with that there, so that's okay. I'm gonna come back to that and I'll show you how 
to fix that. Um, okay, just quickly sort that out. And then we'll go up here and just as careful as she can be. Just da da da. And got a nice angle there. Um, yeah, it just, um, yeah, because I used to do this thing where I'd kind of be all over the shop and trying to like, bleh, like turn the model awkwardly and stuff. But if you just position your hand um, in a certain way, and then just um, this little technique actually just while you're here. So if you do that, that sort of technique with this effect, that will really help you out. So if you just wanna try practicing that first, uh, it just gives you a lot of control um, and I'm sure it'll be useful on other things too. Um, yeah. Um, okay. So just a little bit more Sotec green there. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the other side now. Whoop. Sorry guys, the focus went out there. Um, still got a ways, long ways to go in figuring out how to get this right in terms of the setup and everything, but that's okay. I just wanted to get you guys some content as soon as I possibly could. Um, okay, so just gonna fix that up at the front there. Um, okay, so that looks for me a little bit wonky there. Um, just the blend there doesn't look quite right. So I'm gonna quickly fix that up by Jumping back to Stegodon Scale Green. Um, and by doing so, whoops, just gonna need a little bit more of my brush there. Um, okay. That'll help it blend through. And um, because of the way the col these colors will blend in the end and the final effect, um, you can easily work back over between these two colors here. Um, I'll show you what I mean in just a sec. So yeah, I in the end did want to add a bit more Stegadon here. Um, might even just go all the way there. Okay, so brush quick wash and I'm just going to jump back to SoTech here. Yeah, so you can see on that side, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that side, um, but it was just this side. So I'm just going to fix that up quickly. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm really not that fast at painting, but that, you know what, it's not a race. Um, it is, um, ultimately it's your hobby. Um, and you know, you can paint as quickly or as slowly as you want. Um, and yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. 
I'm going to really quickly though, I just want to add, as I did just before, um, I'm going to add a little bit more um, Stegadon scale green to the top there. I'm sure if I wanted to do this side as well, but you know what? I'm just going to go for it. Okay. Okay. Um, now I just want to quickly touch that up again. Just more saute green there. Okay. Now, next bit. We're gonna go to Temple Guard Blue. Another stunning color. Um, And uh, yes, you would have seen by now as well that uh, a lot of my paint pots are um, kind of on their way out. It was back when I just got back into the hobby, a lot of these paints, and I didn't really take care of them the same way that I do now, um, you know, cleaning around the inside of the, the rim of them and whatnot. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, I mean, you can just buy another one or you can do what I do with this once, a little bit dodgy looking, but um, <laughs> I've just taped it. Um, but anyway, if it, if it works, it works, so, okay. Um, okay, so we're just gonna get some of this Temple Guard Blue. Now this one, um, it's been a little while since I've done This one, so I'm just gonna see. I'm pretty sure I don't need to do a second coat um, because at the end of the day, we've got white scar coming up next. Now, as you can see, I'm just leaving, um, I wanted quite a bit of the staggered on showing there, which is uh, why I had to fix that up. And then the Sotec, it doesn't go as far up, so it's about halfway up, as you can see. And then with the Temple Guard Blue, you just want to leave just a little bit of that Sotec green there and just keeping the Temple Guard Blue uh, just at the front. So um, let's just get a bit more on there. So, and you want to kind of work it around because of the shape of the Wraith Blades uh, head. Um, so just like so. I feel like as this video has progressed, I've gotten a little bit better with the positioning of everything. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think, um, hopefully over time that will just get better and better, which I'm sure it will, because, um, practice makes perfect. Cliche, I know. But, um, yeah. Okay, so we're just going to go back to... This spot just here, I want to do um, a few more lines that are going a little bit further up, uh, just, a, just a couple, because um, it just kind of adds to the effect, I reckon. Um, so, just going to do a bit more. As you can see. Oh God, I really need to get better lighting. Sorry about that guys. Um, okay. Okay, 
so. And I just want to tidy up that bit there. Um, and um, yeah, so you can start see it starting to come together quite a bit there. Um, and uh, keep in mind, you can, yeah, as I said, I, I think I mentioned it earlier in the video, um, you can do this on, uh, you know, the end of a cloak. Um, you could do this on armor if you wanted to, um, you know, wherever there's just, I, I guess, you know, enough room. I mean, you really, you can do this on, you could do this here um, or, you know, down here. Um, you could even do it on the weapon if you wanted to. Um, there's, yeah. It, there's a lot of possibilities with it. It's it's a really cool effect, and I actually just stumbled across it, if I'm being honest. And it was on this very very um, model that I'm well, the the head of the model, uh, because basically when I was um, I, I love Alda as anyone who seen my work knows. Um, I always have. They're pretty much the only army um, when I was a teenager, uh, fourteen roughly, that I ever actually finished an army of. Um, in terms of at least on a decent scale, like I think it was about 2,500 points or something. Uh, and I'm talking fully painted, um, gamed with them, won with them. Uh, I remember one game, actually, uh, I was a friend against a friend, Julian, um, and he had Chaos Space Marines, lovely guy, don't get me wrong, uh, but he was very cocky when it came to Chaos Space Marines and I have never liked Chaos, I mean, I love the models, uh, but I'm, you know, if we're getting deep into the nerdy sector of things, not a fan, not a fan at all. Um, but that being said, uh, the game, uh, I, w I walked into the game, you know, feeling pretty good. And um, yeah, uh, surely enough, it went really well. Uh, my avatar of Cain um, went up against his, uh, I, to be honest, I haven't played a game, uh, well, I played Kill Team, but I haven't played a 40K game since I was about 14, I'm 29 now, so uh, forgive me if the t uh, the title of this is wrong, but um, it was a, yeah, essentially it was an HQ um, of uh, a Chaos Lord, and I think he had like four or five elite guard or something like that, and uh, yeah, they just got rickety wrecked, um, and there was not much that uh, he could do about it. I think I killed all but one. Um, pretty much I hit and wounded with every every attack possible with an avatar of Kane and he just they just wrecked him. Um, my shooting was on point, everything everything that could possibly go right went went exceptionally right um, well, I mean. Um, so uh, yeah, that was a fun little memory there. But yeah, I just like Elder a lot. They're, they're elegant, the, the models are just, they're, they're just stunning. I mean, look at that. That's just a beautiful miniature right there. Um, I mean, even the really old, like the ones from like 1989 and stuff, I, I love them. I think they're fantastic. Um, but yeah, that's, they're very much for me. Um, everyone's got their thing when it comes to Warhammer, uh, or anything for that matter. Um, and, uh, yeah, Elder are my thing. Um, that isn't to say though, that I won't be branching out, uh, and doing other things to show you guys, uh, because I'm still learning myself. Um, I'm mostly doing this because I love painting. Um, the Warhammer community is awesome. You guys have been really supportive of me and you have motivated me to do this. So that's why I'm here right now doing this, uh, even though the video is going to be blurry, um, and that's, that's kind of annoying, but you know what? I'm learning and I'm going to get better. So, um, okay. So as you can see there, the Temple Guard Blue, it's looking pretty cool. It's, it's, as you can see, it's starting to come together quite a bit. You can see this is the, yeah, the part just to be um, sure of is that you leave the, whoops, just got a bit of water there. Just, ugh, get rid of that. It's not that big a deal, but, um, yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, a bad and black, it's been left there. Then you've got these little streaky effects that go all the way around. Um, so yeah, um, Stegodon scale green, Sotek green, Temple Guard blue. And now we're going to go to White Scar. And 
Um, one thing I'm really stoked about with um, stumbling across this effect after wanting, um, you know, that sea green kind of teal turquoise color um, was the fact that when I got up to this point, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go any lighter. Uh, with the first run uh, run through, I actually did a 50-50 mix of Temple Guard Blue and White Scarlet, which you can, of course, do. Um, and it adds that little bit extra. Again, just want to make sure they're watered down. But um, it was a really good way to get better with painting white because it was not one of my strong points, if I'm being honest. Um, sorry, guys, trying to get that focus right. There, that's a bit better. Damn, I should, probably should have had that position the whole video. Because that's... Oh, well. Now I know, the more you know. Um, okay, so, oh, there's a bit too much. And never be afraid to use your thumb, um, or, you know, hand in general as um, something to wipe away some of the paint. Um, I often do that, just if I feel like there's too much in there, I just, just get rid of it. It's no problem, it doesn't really, it doesn't affect anything negatively. Um, so one, boom, 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 and so as you can see, just changing the angles there a bit. Um, now with the white scar, generally I will do, unless I'm just, you know, I fluke the first application and I'm really happy with it. I always like to do, um, because you, as you can see, there's still some um, uh, Temple Guard Blue left in there. And at the, at the tip of this, you don't want that to happen. Uh, I mean, well, it's not, you know, end of the world or anything, but for, you know, for me personally, I, I don't want that to show. Um, uh, so, you know, um, more than likely you will need two coats for this. Um, just realized as well, I did, I have skipped the edge highlighting there. I got a bit distracted. I was talking too much. <laughs> so, um, um, yeah, I'm going to have to come back to that. Uh, the edge highlighting around the, um, side there. Um, so as you can see, just a little bit, the tip there. Um, now for some, the, the next step after this is going to be a little bit tedious, but it's, it's well worth it. Um, you can, I've seen, um, other videos where people do, um, they essentially get the end of the brush and they, they, it's mostly watered down and they do a flick technique. I mean, you can do that for me personally. I like to have that little bit more control and I, I feel as though it looks, um, uh, for, for this scale of a model anyway, if it was on an A4 piece of paper or something, that's what I do do when I'm working on my backdrops for um, photos. But uh, for something like this, um, I prefer just to do all of the dot points um, individually. So I will show you when we get to that, how we go about that. So just a little bit there. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so there we go. And uh, you can actually just just um, blow on a little bit there if you want to. Um, and then just, just tidying up those little bits there. And um, you know what, I wanna go, I feel like there's something missing there. So I'm gonna just go like that. As you can see, just that technique I was talking about before. Um, so just a little bit. Um, might even go a little more. Okay. Um, yeah, I do want to add a bit more to this side as well. So let's get to that. Whoop. I'm so used to painting in my own way, like leaning in lots, moving around. I've just got to um, practice um, getting that position right for you guys. almost a breath holding moment. Um, Cause um, yeah, I always like to be as careful as I can 
well, in general, but with the white scar, um, just to try and get it right how I want it to look. Um, because it is um, such a vibrant um, um, part of the uh, effect. Um, it's something that you want to just look as straight and neat as possible. So, um, I'm gonna add, I feel like there's a little bit missing there still. So I'm just gonna add a little bit, a little bit there. Little there. And I, like many others, yes, I do get shaky hand. Um, it's gonna happen. Um, I can't say I've met many people who paint who haven't said um, that they don't get a bit of the shakies. So, it's, uh, it's normal, don't stress. You can just use, you know, um, the ledge of the table that you're painting on to give yourself a bit more control. Um, just relax your muscles in your hand and just take it easy. Just enjoy what you're doing. And again, if you, if you, um, if you make a mistake whilst doing this, don't panic. Um, and if you need to, just, you know, if you start to get a bit stressed, just pop the brush down, come, come back to it in five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you need. Um, because if you, yeah, I mean, it's happened to me many times. It took me a while to learn. Um, just if you get stressed, just put the brush down, just walk away um, because you're just going to keep making more mistakes. So um, until um, you just get that clarity back and then you can get back to painting awesomeness, awesome models. So, um, Okay, so that was a bit too far down with the white scar, as you can see there. So I'm actually going to bounce back to so tech green. And whoops. Whoopsie. That's all right, because I'm gonna be painting that red anyway, so let's ignore that. Um, and so that side's sorted there. And yeah, with, with stuff like that, just as I said, just don't stress. I, make mistakes like that pretty much most of my models um, in this kind of a process. Uh, but um, yeah, it's more if um, I painted all the armor first and I was doing this, obviously, um, you know, that wouldn't be a great feeling. Um, but that's not the case. Um, because I actually, for, for my wraith, um, uh, wraith blades, I, I, um, I tend to start with all of the, um, the uh, blue green stuff first, and then I um, move on to the red. Well, except for the wraith knight, actually, that was kind of um, kind of uh, just uh, worked on one piece at a time because that model is magnetized. Um, so uh, yeah, just focused on one piece at a time for that guy. That was an awesome model to paint. That took me, um, I don't know, like a month, I think. Um, but 
but yeah, that was uh, that was a lot of fun painting that model. Um, I actually stripped and repainted the sword. I think three, maybe four times. I just wasn't. I just felt like I couldn't get it right. Um, but um, yeah, I was happy with it in the end because um, I'm not um, overly strong with doing that like blended kind of look. Um, well, not yet anyway. I have practiced it. Um, like the ones you see like Duncan do um, uh, on Warhammer TV, stuff like that. So, um, yeah. It's just all about practice, really. Um, okay, so... gonna fix up that little bit at the top there and then I reckon I'm pretty happy with that um, although I might add a little bit more white just to the back here cool and I'm just, just to fix up the, the tip, um, sorry, the uh, sides there, I'm just gonna do that and the other side quickly as well. Well, not, well, not you know, quickly, but um, just take your time doing that. Da -da -da. Cool. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. Now, for the tedious bit. Well, I don't find it tedious. I actually quite enjoy it, to be honest. It's a bit of fun. Oh, actually, just remembered. I've got to do those little side bits there. So, again. Um, sorry, guys. Just trying to fix up that lighting. God, it's a shocker. That's not good. Now you'll see all of this really start to tie in with this next little bit. And um, just, yeah, before you move on, as I've just been doing here, just have a quick look around, see if you're happy with it. I'm pretty happy with that. I might just add a bit more white there. Um, I do have OCD, so I get a bit funny with stuff like, well, everything when I'm painting. This is why I take a century to paint everything. But again, it's, it's not a race. Um, but yeah, just wanna just do it until you are happy with what you are working on. Um, I just want to add a bit more there. Okay. Cool. Okay. Here we go. Now, I just want to get a bit more white scar prepared for this. Now, um... With the mix for this, um, with the, in terms of water ratio, um, I 
I kind of, it's one of those things you just kind of go for it until you're happy with it, but I wouldn't, I certainly wouldn't recommend doing it overly watered down because um, that way um, it won't um, actually, well, for lack of a better word, blob onto um, the model um, as well as you want it to. Um, <laughs> blob. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. You'll know what I mean in a sec. Um, okay, so I'm going to go for my, this one I use, it's called the Army Painter Insane Detail. It's actually a really good brush. I think it was like $4, $5 Australian. Um, so yeah, it's, it, it does the job. It's, it's got a nice little, um, point on it and it holds paint quite well. I've been using this for three months now, um, frequently and it's still, as you can see, it's still in good, good nick. Um, so here we go. Now with this, you just want to just take your time and you want to aim as well to do the dot points. Um, if you can, it's no stress if you can't, um, different sizes. So just starting from near the white scar, one, two, and yeah, just Take really just take your time with this. You you don't want to rush this part because it's a nightmare to to fix up. Um, and um, you can add a little bit more paint to the brush as well. Um, so oh my god, the focus terrible. I'll just try moving that in a bit. Sorry guys. Okay. You can see yeah, that one's a little bit bigger there. So you can, you can see how much time I do take on doing this. Um, what are we up to? Wow, 42 minutes, jeez. Okay. Um, honestly, I was expecting my first video, video sorry, to be um, a lot shorter than 42 minutes. Um, but if you guys can stick it in with me, then, um, we will get to see the end of this video, I promise. Um, so yeah, just working it up, um, just try and just really tap the tip there. See how those, those dots were really small. Just tap. Whoop, that one was a bit bigger, but that's fine. Cause it kind of, it works. Um, and just making sure that your positioning of the brush is just facing just like a point, like a, you know, how you'd hold a, um, oh, that was going to be a bad example. I was going to say how you hold a pen, um, obviously. So, um, but, um, there we go. So as you can see, there's plenty on my brush. It's, um, it's doing the job. At any point though, you start to press down like I'm doing right now and nothing's coming off. Um, and you want, this is another important thing. You want to make sure you wash the paint off um, and do it again. Because if you don't do that, um, it'll start to, um, when you go to put the paint on, it'll start to do kind of weird shapes, not like you want it to be as rounded as, as possible. So if you just get on your brush, like I'd, I'd say about, I can actually get that in focus. Um, yeah, I think you guys can see that about that much. Um, but yeah, the most important thing though is just making sure that tip is is right. Um, so.
Yeah, so just take as long as you need. Just trying to actually just get the paint how I'm, you know, trying to make it so that the point is right. So finish that. You can see it's starting to come together there. Um, I'm just trying to add smaller ones here because I did do quite a few big ones. Just trying to even that out a bit. Um, I feel like that bit's missing a tiny bit there. So, whoops. There we go. That's a good positioning. Sorry guys, I know this video is going to be annoying because it's um, I've gone in and out quite a bit um, of focus. Um, this is my literally very first time doing this, filming whilst painting. So it's difficult to pay attention to both, but hopefully my next video I'll have it down a bit more and it won't be as out of focus and annoying. Um, but so long as you've been able to see still what I'm doing and how the effect ultimately looks, then we have succeeded in today's video. So, Yeah, um, once you've done this um, a little bit, um, you'll you'll find that you'll become more confident in um, just doing these points. See, that one I wasn't that happy with, so I'm just going to quickly double tap, as they'd say in Zombieland. Um, and... Just keep that going. And uh, you want to avoid, see I did three in a row there, like boom, boom, boom. But you want to, you kind of want to make them just, just place them randomly because that way it looks more like, as you can see there. But um, anyway, guys, I think I'll leave the video there because you get the idea now. Um, obviously I will finish up this other side, but that is the um that is the effect so um i hope you've enjoyed this video it's actually a lot of fun doing this i hope it wasn't too long uh again apologies for the focus i will get better on that um but in the meantime um thanks so much for watching and um yeah looking forward to the next video and i'll see you guys next time cheers